Hey guys, welcome along to the channel. Uh, my name's Mitch, this is Reddy. Hello. Uh, there's a few other rifle walkers kicking about, but not up here on this mission. Um, so this video is all about exploring new country. I've been on a few trips over winter and, and seen some epic spots and heaps of animals about. So we'll tie in a few few different trips to this video. But um, probably gonna start you off with the mission we did uh, winter a few months back and went up to the tops and chased some deer around. It was pretty bloody epic and a mean day. So um, you roll that footage on in a minute, but yeah, what's the plan for this trip, ready? Uh, this trip, we just got two nights out here at the moment. So the plan is we've just walked in tonight and tomorrow morning get up bright and early and head up towards the tops, uh, scan on the bush and see if we can find anything. Hopefully knock a deer over, it would be fantastic. Yeah, bloody yeah. then. Yeah, enjoy the video guys. Uh, hopefully we can get something on the ground for you on this trip and yeah, it should be good. Enjoy. Okay hey guys, out on another mish. It's um, midwinter tops mission this trip. It's gonna be bloody wicked. Got a couple of days of bloody good weather. Um, out looking for, for an old stag before they drop their antlers or probably just some venison for the freezer, but now yeah, see if we get on. Here this week with Reddy and Harry. Um, you'll have seen Reddy in a few other episodes, but Harry's new to the channel. He's a bit of a bloody legend. You might recognize him from um, one of the NZ Hunter magazines he's got. Got an article in there with a pretty impressive red stag if you haven't seen it, it's definitely worth a look. And um yeah, we've got a couple of hours walking tonight. Head torches will be absolutely burning, put the old lead lenses to work, but nah, should be a good trip. Hope you guys enjoy it. Cheers. We're learning one thing about Harry pretty quickly. <laughs> He's a fit bastard. An animal. <laughs> He's flying. <laughs> Zeros, I'd say. Yeah, she's pretty it's frosty. 10.30, maybe closest to 11. Can't wait for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can't wait to get my hot water bottle on. <laughs> no way, you brought a hot water bottle. Mate, no. soft. Did you bring a hot water bottle? Yeah. <laughs> Winter. <laughs> oh. Yeah, good. This is really quite cool. Just got a full moon out. That's Ridiculously bright up here, we're walking around without a head torch and it's 11.30. So it's bloody 10 to 12. <laughs> Made it. Camp set up. <laughs> We've done it. Check this out. This is um, a new camera, a P1000. Uh, we managed to get that thanks to all you legends that supported us buying some merch and, and watching our videos. But um, that's bloody incredible. Guys, so, just a cold old morning, but a uh, nice bluebird day. Um, I've just been blasting some of the bush lines around camp and murdering some new area and bumped three bloody deer. But um, nah, I could have got a shot away at a couple of them, but I'm gonna hold out for a stag potentially and see what the morning brings. But nah, it's good to see this deer up here. Yeah. Got it. couple hunters up on the ridge above us and sort of sidled around this face they were looking at and spooked, spooked a mob of deer and there's about eight of them. Um, those two hunters are sort of pushing up over the top now so we're just deciding whether we want to maybe take some of these deer from down here or not. But, um, yes, it was busy this weekend, it's the second group of hunters we've seen so I'll get the orange beanie on before. and there's any deer around there. Yeah, there's heaps of deer eh? You reckon boys, you guys, one of you guys want to shoot a deer? Or both of you? Could be keen though. These people go over the top. Yeah, so those hunters sighted above those deer. And the wind's pushing down the hill, so they all they caught the wind and they're bloody gone it. So there you goes that one. Stop it. <laughs> 
set. That's basically do what you say. country and um heaps of glass in here picked up a couple of hinds but off on a on a ridge lines um a couple of stags and one of looks pretty good he's he's not the oldest animal but he's got some really sick potential it's an epic photo Fuck, he's not not shocking eh? Yeah, it's a really cool shot. Oh, he's not fucking dead. I wouldn't say he's super old, but he's not bad at all. You can't see how much sweep he's got to that one. Not from that angle, are we? Yeah, no, he's just young, eh? Yeah, he's not old. Fucking good potential, though, that's another thing. That's uh. Just speed it up. Yeah, his tines are all pretty weak. Relatively young looking face to him, eh? And gone. You can tell we're pretty weight conscious hunters, you know, doing these big backpacking trips. So we're ready, he's carried up two kgs of brownie. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Got to keep the boys sustained. <laughs> Plan this morning. The plan this morning is to pack up and get the f out of here. <laughs> it's blowing about 120 knots an hour. <laughs> Had a horrible sleep. Ten almost blew away. So yeah, love it. Tops. Surprisingly, a bit of snow around. I hope you can see something. A reasonably good day. A wee bit of wind, but it should be on, eh? Let's 
been pretty quiet all morning through the binos. We've picked up one deer, but she's not playing ball. I haven't got her through the camera yet. She's just playing cat and mouse, ducking out of the bush and stuff. So try to get the camera on her at some point. But um, you want to get ready? Looking. Pick up a cup of coffee. She's quite cold up here, yeah. but it's not a bad place to be. Mm. What's the plan for the day? Plan for the day. Pretty keen to head up even further. Let's <laughs> 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 check out the view up there, and then maybe loop round. I don't know. We'll see. The only deal we've seen is that way, so that's the way we want to go. Makes sense. <laughs> we're getting a bit, a bit worried, eh? It's, it's springtime and we're up on the tops in the snow instead of <laughs> down the bottom where all the feet is, but now they're up here. Yes. I think I got it today. <laughs> I missed it. Okay, huh? I'm <laughs> The oh, snow was way nicer to walk on, eh? Yeah. Like perfect consistency. I oh, punched through before, like. Yeah. Do <laughs> <laughs> South on the tops here for a good hour and a half, probably <laughs> taking in the amazing view. Plan now is to carry on that loop we we're talking about, so carry on down this ridge and then heading back towards down towards the up. Hopefully, pick up a few deer on the way. Surely, and hopefully, the bush bash isn't too bad to the hut. Yeah, and hopefully, if we shoot a deer, it's not on last light and we gotta get back stupidly late. We wouldn't do that, would we? No. <laughs> what we need There's a snowshoe going the whole way down the hut. <laughs> it's getting tobogganing our asses down. <laughs> so it's just, just about four o'clock. Um, heap of good country just on the other side of this ridge. So I'm going to pop over there and probably spend the evening glassing that and working our way down around that ridge to towards camp and hopefully knock a deer over. What's the chat ready? So I've just spotted three deer. Quite a way away. Nice weather. There's deer here. So I've just got the camera on a deer finally. It's just taken us what? Ten hours? Ten hours, thousand vertical meters. 
I'm saying one window, yeah, but it's a stag, which is cool. Yeah. Three hinds, but looks of it, maybe. One problem. <laughs> They're over there. Yeah. The camps over there. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess we have to make a decision pretty quick. And the next problem is the wind's coming downhill. And to get close enough for a shot, we're gonna probably have to go up there and come down on them. So we've got that stag over there and a couple of hinds. Um, we're just gonna take the rifle and the camera's down this way. See if there's something a bit easier, because I'm pretty knackered and that's the wrong way from, from, our, from our heart. But yeah, we're gonna go down here, see if we can pick up an easy deer. So, the gamble's paid off. There's a hind down here. It's about 320 metres away at the moment. There's a bit of a flat spot we can get to. It's about 100 metres down the hill, so we can close that to about 200. In fact, I just, there's another deer that's just fed out too, so there's a few deer in here. That one's coming down, but it's, it's pushing across, which is good. Um, so we're going to try to stalk our way down here without getting spotted. We're pretty exposed. Right, hold up, it's moving. I think the other one's spooked, it doesn't know what to do. Our scent's pushing down the hill. I think if we spoke these, I need to drop down to the bush line and sidle round. Because we can't hunt from above at the moment. We should have known that, to be honest. Yeah, it's feeding again. Right, let's go. So it's a bit of a shambles. So. We think we might have just seen it. Or we, we did just see it again before. Uh, it's gone over a little bridge, so we've got ourselves set up. On the off chance it comes back over, but the wind's bloody terrible. Like, so what happened there was like exactly why we were real tentative about going after that stag in the wind. But all we did was just put ourselves in the same situation. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. What's left in the day? What's left in the day? Well, we've made it pretty much down to the river. Next mission is up on this ridge and then hopefully just side all around if possible. Joe camp and that we settle. <laughs> How do you think this is going to go? Um, one of two ways. <laughs> one of two ways? I don't know if there's two ways about it, eh? That's going to be shit. <laughs> uh, I think we'll just go that way. Let's get it. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm still stuck to it. <laughs> I'm actually with me. completely fucking tangled up. Eh? Always lost. What a lawyer through here. That looks great. Had a few people message them. Um, he should say I'd love to come out hunting with us. I've got no any more. Yeah. What do you guys reckon? Got a bit of this? Ah! Oh, for you. That's great work. <laughs> and look at that, that's a game trail if I've ever seen one. Mate. We did it. The track. Good shit. Oh. Fantastic. Jesus. What do we got here, Eddie? Well. I just bought a dehydrator and I'm obsessed with dehydrating now. We've got um, apple, pineapple, strawberries, kiwi fruit, orange, and bananas. Tell you what, this shit is tasty. But the fruit's pretty good. I'm not sure about this stuff yet. I don't know about his mint taste. This is the first time, so it could be, <laughs> could be a flop. It's fucking rock solid, eh? <laughs> like, that shit is hard. Um, baby. That country's got nothing on that. That is delicious. <laughs> Come to a hut with the fire ready, ready to go. You're not wrong. A 
Good morning, guys. Um, didn't get out for out this morning. I was blowing a bloody gale and the alarm went off. I was like, nah, turn those back off and back to sleep. But um, no, I had a crazy old morning, had some pancakes, chilled out, uh, walking out today. So the hunting for this trip's pretty much done. So it doesn't look like we're gonna get an animal on the deck, sorry. But um, yeah, what do you think of the trip, ready? Uh, it's awesome either way, eh? Yeah, saw some yeah. new country. You said the views were just unbelievable. Um, incredible. Really cool to see that. Kind of made the trip for me, to be honest. Just goes to show it's not really always about shooting an animal, eh? It's more like just getting out there, having fun, and mm. getting home safely. Yeah, shit, yeah. Shit. yeah we don't really want to keep releasing videos where we're not shooting anything, but um, it's a point to cover that, you know, hunting's, it's not all about shooting something, it's about getting out there and exploring and having a look around. Like, <laughs> just seeing those views on this trip and the last couple was. Incredible. Yeah, it's definitely a good way to spend your time, whether you're coming home with me or not. So, um, yeah, we'll chuck on another another trip at the end of this video. Um, it was a just a real quick edit from a tar hunt we did back in winter, and it was freaking freezing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just caked in snow. There's a few tar about, but a um, bit of a disclaimer. Didn't shoot anything there either. <laughs> <laughs> now, enjoy, you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you're interested in sort of what we do and you love watching this, um, give us a like and maybe subscribe and. Yeah, we'll keep pumping out more videos because we're going to come hunting regardless. Yeah. <laughs> Just Cheers. A new feature we want to add to our videos is a bit of a gear review. Um, so in each of our trips, we'll just highlight a piece of kit that we use and what we found good or bad about it. So we thought we'd get the ball rolling on the um, Garmin inReach. Um, we've been using these for a couple of years now and they are bloody handy bits of kit. Really handy features on it. You can sort of text out to your loved ones, text out to home, let, you, let them know you're okay. Uh, get updated weather forecasts on it. You've got your maps on it, you can track yourself, and on top of that it's got your old SOS button, so if you get in trouble, you can hit that, access to PLB, and somebody can come help you. So this is the um, Explorer Plus. Yeah, I have the InReach Mini, which is yeah, just a mini version of that, pretty much. Uh, it's got the same features that you can text out to your loved ones at home, let them know you're safe. Always a good feature if you've got like a bad weather on the last day or something, and rivers are up, so you've got to stay an extra night. Rather than worrying people back at home, you can let them know, hey, going to be a day out late or something like that. Yeah, other than that, the only downside to the Mini, I'd say, is probably how hard this to text off if for some unfortunate reason your phone stops working. So other than that, it's a great wee thing. So one issue I've had with this is um, they're not really suited to New Zealand very well. I don't know where the issue arises, but a lot of our texts seem to go missing. Uh, we've had one go to a helicopter pilot and we couldn't get through to them. And we changed our pickup point. It was all a big shambles, but ended up ended up finally getting it sorted through somebody else. Yeah, I think we use the um, Garmin tracking software, like they've got their own service. But I think there's a New Zealand guy that does it called Track Me. We're going to try him out soon because um, it sounds like it goes a lot better, and you don't have those issues with text not coming through. But yeah, so it's bloody handy. Um, a lot of useful points to it, and it's a really handy piece of safety kit. Like I'd, I recommend anybody to, if they don't have one of these, get a PLB at least because it, it looks after you out here. But um, you want to close this and saying, obviously our first one of these, we'd love to know what you guys actually think about the old gear review, if you even want to be seeing this. Um, we're making these videos for you guys, so if you think this is a waste of our time, just let us know in the <laughs> comments, honestly. But, um, and I just also thought I'd highlight, this isn't like sponsored content, we're not trying to sell you shit. Um, we're just going to go through each of our items and cut through our different videos and, and give you honest reviews on what's good and what's bad about it. Um, in our eyes anyway. Mm, save you wasting money. <laughs> <laughs> Learn from us. Yeah, cheers. Mount Bloody Earth. Going and rich. Going mini. Handy little bits kit. Enormous. Survival tip with the <laughs> rifle walkers. <laughs> if you're ever in danger, you need a fire starter. And all you've got on you is a bag. This is how flame girls feel. Look at it. It's actually unreal, eh?
<laughs> How'd you get on, mate? Dry feet? Huh? Dry feet? Pretty sure it's fucking wet. <laughs> oh, no. Just feel a bit of moisture on my left one. <laughs>